five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Well, we'll try it again, folks. I don't know what happened. We had to reboot the, all our equipment. Everything went out. Everything went bonkers on us, and I have no idea why it did that. But, you know, here we are. Here we are. We're going for a second go on this, and uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, I think now it should all work, actually. In fact, let me put this on because my shirt has a tendency to moray on smaller monitors. Moraying is when it uh, gets, well, it morays. No, right? Okay. Now let me open up the Skype lines. Uh, as soon as we open up the Skype lines, something happened, and, and I don't know what it was, but everything went out, and uh, uh, we went down. There were some weird things happening here on the computer tonight, too, before I went on, and I now I have no idea what it was. <coughs> But now we have the ability to talk to people, so let's give it a try, okay? So if you're out there and you can call me and you want to be part of the citizen panel, uh, there we go. There we go. Here comes Josh Wheeler. Uh, Josh should probably come in where he came in last night, which is in the top spot. Let me see here. Uh, let me uh, go here. To, there we go. See, there's Josh. Hi, Josh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay, everybody can hear me. You can hear me now. Okay. Thanks for calling back, Josh. I appreciate it. You know. Oh, it's no problem. You know, these things happen. It's, uh, uh, I should go out and I commit suicide now, I think. Uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, we, we don't know what happened here. So we'll, we'll just uh, try and, you know, make the best of it. And now I hope other people call. Maybe Phil gave up on us. Uh, maybe... Uh, uh, Jeff gave up on us. They were all calling. And yeah, I saw uh, Charlie had called. Well, I get everybody calling, and I'm trying to solve the problem. And I, it, so it's like everything's coming at me at one time, and it's uh, it's maddening. It is just yeah, maddening. Yeah, I just, uh, like I said there, I'll just hang up and stand by until you get it fixed and yeah. call back. I know yeah. Patrick said he's going to call, so I sent him a note and said, you're ready now, so because yeah, he had yeah. sent me something and said sounded like a repeat was on, and so I told him you had yeah problems. So he'll probably call. Yeah, but uh, anyway, the rest of you can call though. You know, it looks like Phil gave up. <laughs> you should be able to send him a message. I'm sure he's hanging out well, waiting. I'm, I'm not going to send him a message, but he probably already sent me one, like saying, "Do you know you're down?" You know. Yeah. People do that too. They go, "Do you know you're down?" You know who was still up, though? I was still up on Facebook. All right? I saw that. Yeah, that's how I found out yeah, exactly I mean, what was going I, on. I was still on Facebook. Uh, there, there's, uh, And here comes Phil Meyer. Let me see here. There's Phil, and he'll probably come in in the... What, where, where was he last night? He, was, uh, he wasn't in the second spot. Oh, there he was. Yeah, there we go. Here go. comes everybody. Okay, all right. I don't know. I guess I should reboot this computer about once every couple of days, and then this kind of thing won't happen. But, uh, uh, hmm. come on. I'm looking for Facebook to come up now. Come on, Facebook. There you go. God damn it. This, uh, so something happened. I don't know. There was something weird happening on this computer earlier tonight, and uh, so uh, we're, we're, now, we're now okay, so... Uh, yeah. Let me see here. Here comes uh, here comes Jason uh, in the number four spot. Let me uh, let me <clears throat> let me try and uh, well, working now. huh? Let me see here. Jason is in the number four spot, so I go with Jason. Uh, hey, uh, Josh. Alex. We, uh, hold, hold, don't bother earlier. me right. Don't bother me right now. Let me just. Oh, fuck you. Uh, let me take care. <laughs> no, let me take care of this, Phil. All right. I was just going to tell you to call Charlie. He was no, on I, the same I, I, line I, with me. Let's see here. Three a.m. Is that you, uh, Jason? Jason. Jason tried to call. Yeah, I'm. I'm here. My. Yeah. Uh, are microphone you? or speakers are doing something goofy, so I okay, made sure I put you on there, mute and then... There we go. There we go. 
Yes, Phil, I can't do two things at one time. <laughs> well, you know. I, I was on the impression you could uh, pat your tummy and rub your head no, at the same no, time. No, no, no. It's uh, years past that now. Oh, okay. You know. yeah. Jason can still do it. Yeah, yeah. No, I can, I can still do it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Can you switch it up? You want to switch it up? You mean? Yeah, no, you gotta switch it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, oh. and then. I can't do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. It looks like you're trying to do it too many times, Phil, and you rubbed a bald spot. Yeah. Hey, you should talk. Just wait five years. Five what years. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean? He's... Yeah, you'll be you'll be combing that shit up over the top of your head. <laughs> you know, he's got Latin genes in him. He's he's his hair ain't going nowhere. You yeah. Know? What, what's that Julio Iglesias look like? <laughs> he's got hair. He's got hair. Yeah. It's a wig. The... <laughs> yeah. So it's implants. Say. So you say. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, I don't know what happened tonight. I, it's just everything went out. All my uh, my hard drives, which are external hard drives, just completely disappeared. And of course, I record to those hard drives to record the show, and the, everything went wonky. And um, the only thing I could do was reboot. Now that I reboot and get everything, I have to get everything going again. So that takes about five minutes or so. But anyway, so we're 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 in we're in good shape now. Yes, Jason. I want to make you feel better, Alex. Yeah. So the other day I was at work and I'm pulling out of a parking space. Mm -hmm. I look left, right, left again, mm -hmm. and I take my foot off the brake. I start idling out, but I'm paying attention to the right because that's the way I'm going to turn. Yeah. And there's other traffic that yeah. might be coming from that direction. Somebody was flying through our parking lot wasn't there a second before clipped my front end totaled out my car wow a truck no it's it was a dodge avenger just a car you know but it's because of the age of it it was a 2012 yeah. did like seven thousand dollars worth of damage and that's what the car was worth wow but you're insured yeah so now i'm gonna get a check for a little under seven thousand dollars but now i gotta go out and buy a new car uh, whose fault did they say it was? Uh, I know it's going to be my fault because I'm coming out of two yellow lines. That's a parking spot. Mm. Yeah. But oh, yeah. Guy had it was to your doing, front corner. Yeah, this guy had to have been doing 30 miles an hour in the parking lot because it actually, when he hit me, he scraped through half of his vehicle, too. Yeah, well, wow. Uh, you, uh, you know what I got? I got one of those cameras that you put in your car so that uh, you can see, you know, if somebody hits you and they blame you or the cop pulls you over and says you ran the light and mm -hmm. doesn't give me professional courtesy. Uh, the uh, So it's a... Um, I know uh, all you Russian camp. spies have that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a Republican thing. Yeah. yeah. But uh, do you have one of those? No. I, I thought about getting one before. You know, same reason that you did too, you know, watching all the Russian cameras. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's like, hey, you know, I might save my butt one day, and, but, but, and maybe I would have that, you know, because I, I swear, I, I'm, they, they even tease me at work and call me Mister Safety. How fast? And, how, uh, yeah, how fast did the insurance company settle with you? Oh, uh, it's basically as soon as the dealership took the car apart and said, you know, it's going to cost this much, and the insurance company said, well, the car's only worth this much, so it's totaled. Oh, okay. So you get uh, 7000 bucks. What are you going to do? Are you going to get a brand new car? Are you going to... I'm getting a new car! <laughs> yeah, I, buy a Dodge Avenger. I mean, that, that was a great car for me. I loved it. Yeah. You know, but, it, you know, it's eight years old or whatever, seven, eight years old, and, you know, somebody nails you like that and takes out enough, you know, but I'm uh, I'm gonna get a Jeep Compass. A oh no! Please don't do that. Why? They're nice. There, there, cars. There's a podcast. This get it's called Scotty Kilmer. You know, uh, it's some guy in Texas that fixes cars for over 50 years, and I, I believe that he's a pretty honest guy. Uh, and this Scotty, he says, do not buy that car. His customers have nothing but problems with these. Uh, Jeep compasses. They're they're really poorly made. And just remember, who owns Jeep? Fiat. Fiat owns Jeep. Who makes one of the worst cars in the world? Fiat. You know? They're like now today the fourth largest car company in the world. It may so. be the fourth largest, but it's probably <clears throat> the first 
worst. <laughs> you know? Oh man, my, my uh, I got a lot of family that works for Chrysler, and you know my sister in law, she had one before. I, I'd seen it, I've driven in it, and you know it's a nice little car. You know, it's uh, yeah. I, I I've worked there. I worked there for many years. I mean, I was a line mechanic in a Jeep dealership for quite a long time when I was an automotive mechanic. I mean, did Fiat I own two them Jeeps then? now? I don't. I don't own a Compass, and I'm not. I particularly like those, but I mean, my wife has a Patriot, you know, which is the sister car to the Compass. But I mean, I have a Grand Cherokee, but I mean, I've had many Jeeps. I mean, so I mean, I would before I worked for SW, I worked for Diamond Chrysler. So, and and then the thing I heard, it, it's uh, the that and the uh, was the Fiat 500, which is also the Jeep Renegade. There are a lot of similar uh, components, and I talked to a mechanic one time, and he said actually that the Fiats are extremely easy to work on. I because <laughs> he's a mechanic. Well, he keeps in, them busy. In, in in Italy, the joke was it stands for "fix it again, Tony." Yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, I'm not really a big fan of Fiat. I mean, my my issue with Chrysler the whole time I ever worked there was that was they were constantly trying. Every, you know, about once a decade, they were constantly getting themselves in bed with somebody else who would come in and tell them how to make cars. And then, you know, when it wasn't going so well, they would shrug that off and then go to somebody else. I mean, that was the whole thing about, you know, Daimler Chrysler when they were owned by the, you know, the, the Germans and Mercedes Benz. A lot of that stuff they sent over here, I thought was supposed to be Mercedes Benz was supposed to be so great. And I thought it was fucking junk. I think there was a big change up though when they went to Fiat and Sergio Marconi got in there and he you know that was one of the the biggest things you would always hear is never buy a first year model of a new vehicle because get, it's going to be nothing used but problems. Lexus get a used Lexus SUV <laughs> or something do not do not uh, buy a, a, a uh, Jeep Patriot I wouldn't steer you wrong on this shit. You got to listen to Scotty he, he got, yeah, you know. Yeah yeah listen to Phil Go to YouTube yeah, Scotty to Kilmer uh, I and, go to uh, Phil on everything. But you should. <laughs> Phil has an opinion about what to buy and what not to buy. And, uh, and, so what and I'm he sure he had an opinion Toyota, on what was Phil. wrong with my computer. The Toyota tonight. FJ is worth almost what I paid for it in 2011. Uh, see, I have never crazy, had a problem with it at all. Yeah, but you, you can say the same thing about a Jeep Grand Cherokee. I mean, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is the number one selling SUV of all Maybe time. Maybe the number one selling, I mean, but it's only worth about 50% of what you paid for it as soon okay, as you drive well, it off Okay, well, I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you that that's perfectly fine, But and I can go upstairs and do this if you want. I can go upstairs and I can bring down my plaque to prove to everybody that I am still an ASE certified master automobile technician, and then I can bring down a couple more plaques that can show my 10 years of service spent in a Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep dealership, and I've had every single part on and off every single Jeep made between the years that they came out up until Listen, the year that okay, I left okay, in wait, 2006. Uh, uh, Josh, I mean, Josh. They have issues. All cars have issues. There's they just have issues. I mean, if he likes the car, buy the car. <laughs> right. It, it, Jeep, actually, just because of the, the name, it, it actually holds on to value. Which yeah, I don't it, it, you with, have but. all those those credentials, Josh, but you don't compare to Phil and his opinion. That's right. <laughs> That's right, because I listened to Scotty Kilmer, and he uh, said, do not buy a Jeep Compass. He put there, I will be, he, in the first shit. Jeep. I will be the first to, to admit, though, I mean, I started out doing that when I was 16. You know, I got in the apprenticeship and started working at a dealership, and then yeah. I continued to do that while I went to college. I mean, that's how I got in the skilled trades. That's why, even though I have an education, I don't teach or anything because I got in the skilled trades, and then I got to where I'm at now, and I make so much more money than I would make if I quit to go teach that I've, mm. I've stayed in it. But I will be the first to admit that mechanics in automotive, but really mechanics in any field, there is no doubt that if you go ask 10 of them, you will get 10 different. I mean, you're not going to get unanimity. I mean, they're almost like doctors in that regard. I mean, Phil, you're not going to get a when solid When did you hear this podcast? Oh, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're all the time. Uh, yeah. I, you I, know, say, I, know, I, I like Scotty Kilmer. And uh, uh, that, if you show that guy again, changed. I've seen that guy's videos, and he's a fucking lunatic. <laughs> lunatic? <laughs> Yeah. Before, before I, you know, 2018, oh guys, the <laughs> compass that guy doesn't want you to buy any fucking car. Period. Yeah, he doesn't want you to buy anything but a good car. Okay. You know, hey, Jeff's got his hand up. Yes, I support. Guess who? Josh. Oh. Nope. 
Shem? Nope, there's somebody who knows Scotty, and you're oh, absolutely you, right. You, you know Scotty? Well, I've heard him a lot, yeah. I think he's very good. I but, think he's the best. <laughs> but so you also said... So it's two non-mechanics. right? <laughs> I said buy a used uh, Lexus you know, don't SUV. You, don't, you feel, don't you feel bad, uh, Josh, uh, that you have all these diplomas and they're just no good in the <laughs> eyes of Scotty? Not really. I mean. Beam me up. The, the, when I left in 2000, like, well, right at the beginning of 2006, the Internet was, you know, becoming fairly more much more commonplace not like it is now but the diy stuff on the internet was getting pretty heavy and i mean and honestly that's one of the reasons that i left is because you know someone would ask you for your opinion and then you would give them your opinion and then no no i, I read that uh blah 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 and it's like well okay i mean you know then sounds like you know what the fuck's up so my shit runs good motherfucker i don't really care you know <laughs> You know what I just realized? I didn't turn on the... Uh, well, I know what I'll do later. Forget it. What, what, is, what is that? That was Scotty. Where's that coming from? It's Scott. It came from Scotty. I can see him too. Oh, well, that's annoying, Phil. Anyway, uh, uh, no, I just realized I hadn't turned on the audio, the, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, internet broadcast. You know? Hello, everybody. How Jeff, are you? you? You listen to Scotty, and what what did you say about the Lexus uh, SUV? You don't like? Well, I I had two of them. Yeah, and, uh, they were great. Yeah, they were absolutely great. Hmm. Yeah, if uh, if I have to buy another car and I don't plan on it, uh, I'd get a Lexus. Oh, you like and Toyotas? My, my yeah, I do. <laughs> they just got a. My granddaughter, uh, a Lexus, a used Lexus. That's well, great. Phil, but Phil's right about everything, so I, I'm, I'm. Yes, I am. Yeah, yes, of course. And you were so. Hey, you're the guy that's taking a bus, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I took a long one today too. I took one that was. Uh, y y yes, uh, yes, Jason. So you know, you know, I work for a, a large communications company. I was doing a job for this old timer. And he had to, you know, he was in his 80s. He's like 85 years old. I'm, you know, he's not home yet, but I'm in his driveway, there's a Toyota minivan in the driveway. Mm -hmm. And then he pulls up and he's in this Volkswagen car. So I go up to him like, you didn't fight in the big war, did you? <laughs> he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you got a Japanese car here, and then you pull up in a German car. He obviously didn't, didn't fight in World War II. <laughs> he busted up laughing so bad. <laughs> Oh, uh, out well, on you? Well, you know, Phil is uh, is right about everything, including his assertion the last, oh, I don't know, two weeks or so, that this vote would never come to impeachment inquiry. <laughs> Didn't you say, say that, Phil? You said inquiry. that it wasn't. You said, it, you said wait a minute, Phil, listen to me. You said it wasn't going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. No, it, you said it wasn't going to happen, that this vote was going to happen. No, no, I said they would not vote on impeachment. All this is is a shit show. And that vote meant nothing. What do you mean? It Phil, meant that Phil, finally, the it finally this meant that... They're talking about an inquiry. Wait, wait, wait inquiry. a minute. Phil, shut up for a second, will you? <laughs> Jesus. You don't want to challenge me. <laughs> no, I'm, I would like to tell you that what this is uh, all about now is that your, your guy has a chance to defend himself. You want no, to do process. That's what this is. This is due process. This is no, how things no. work. No, this is not. It a is. It's exactly due process. It's not it's an impeachment. Uh, it, it is. It is the steps not, that you go to through no, impeachment, not, Phil. You do an inquiry, and, and the and the president and his people are going to have a chance to present their information, and yeah. uh, there will not be. It will not be in closed hearings. It'll be in open hearings. This is everything right. the Republicans have been asking for. Yes, Charlie. Yeah, this is the stage at which the police are going out and investig investigating a, a crime, and that's always done in closed quarters. That is never done out in the open with everybody watching. But that's when what it's this a kangaroo is. court. Well, no, the no, new, the, no it isn't the a court kangaroo is court, in the Phil, Senate. because court is in the, the president Senate. will okay, be a, Charlie, the president and his people, Phil. 
<laughs> the president and his people will be allowed to appear and to present their evidence. So, so it isn't a kangaroo court. Yes, Jason. So, Phil, you know I love you. You, you, you know I, I'm There's doing no this There's no reason to love but, him, Jason. There's no reason. I, I, I have to say this because I think it's funny, and like I, I've always wanted to say it to you. Does your ass ever get jealous of all the shit that comes out of your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's uh, unfortunate that you guys all have these blinders on and you can't see oh, the blinders, truth. Blinders, you're the one lying from your ass. It, it, it's the due process. That's the way things work. No, it's not due you're, process. How, how long did it take to impeach Nixon? Can they cross-examine? Phil, how long did it take to impeach Nixon? What was what? Nixon's approval rating before they impeached him? It was pretty. It was. It was pretty high. It, no, well, his, I, well, his, his was, approval rating before the impeachment was pretty high, very and high. it was because of the impeachment that took over a year to do that people started saying, "Oh shit!" And he it's the same thing with Trump. Nah, yep. this, this is just a shit show. It, and it's There's actually no it's moving a little faster. There's no crime. There's no crime to say, "Hey, my government voted to give you this money, but I'm going to hold oh, it up until you give me he dirt did, on my opponent. He didn't hold it up. He just said, yes, hey, he, you look he into did. this. And then where did this extra, what was it, $140 million come from? Uh, Biden's son. Yeah, no, it came from Trump. For what? Trump actually put in extra money into the Ukraine. Trump put in money? Yes, to yes. Where, where, where did this extra, extra where, where did this, this extra money come from? Look it up. Look up the facts, Phil. The, the Congress uh, uh, voted to approve so much money to the Ukraine yeah. that Trump held up. And then after the end, when he released it, he actually released more money than what he was allowed. Yeah, because to. he was making sure that there wasn't he wasn't donating money to a corrupt government. Mm, and so then he gave him more money when they said. Okay. And, and by the way, Phil, the dog also ate his homework. He didn't have any any word in it at all. Congress donated it. Yeah, no, no, no. Trump wrote a check. Uh, Jason said so. No, I said that Congress voted and approved money to give to the Ukraine, and then Trump held it up until he said, we'll give me see, dirt on my opponent. We'll see when the real facts come out oh, yeah. and not the mm -hmm. uh, leaks that well, yeah. you're getting from okay. Nadler well, and the, Ship. Yeah, well, uh, Nowhere in the Constitution does it say the president can decide to withhold money that Congress votes. That is not in the Constitution in, the con in but any the president, place. Well, the president's responsible to give money uh, and not uh, uh, give it to nations that are corrupt. Even though his advisors already told him that the corruption was already done with and that you should give them the money? And even because though you're actually sitting there to fight. He your, was doing his advisors corrupt. were as corrupt as, he, as the uh, donation. <laughs> so who appointed his advisors? He did. Yeah. So yeah. it's his own corruption. Only right. the best. Only hey, the best. Jason, I want you to enjoy that Jeep Patriot. <laughs> you know, it, 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 a compass. It's got your name on it. <laughs> you know? I, I Hey. Well, you enjoy you that Lexus me, in jail, because that's where Trump's going to be. Nah, nah, it ain't going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Well, you, you know? said this was Wait a minute, Phil. It, Phil, Phil wait a minute, Phil, 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 you said this wasn't going to happen. Yeah. No, I said that they did he weren't say it or didn't he say it, Charlie? On an impeachment. Charlie, they did he or did he going? not say it? Wouldn't when I said a couple of days ago that they were going to yeah. be voting on this thing, and you said, "quote," and I'm go I can go back and find the the video. You should go back and I, find. I, I'll it. I'll find the video where you said this it's not. That's thing. not going to happen. Yeah, and and, that was and, back and, and when nothing the, has happened. This is that was nothing. Back when the Republicans kept saying there's never been a vote on it. There's never been a vote on it. Well, they haven't had a vote. The they only vote they had is to is to have is to continue this investigation. No, to bring and it out to bring it out into their, the open uh, and set up a and set up a set of rules for the investigation and so on. This is part of the process, Phil. And you said this Due would not process. happen. You said it wouldn't happen. We'll see. Why don't you find that what recording? Do you mean? I will find it. <laughs> Can you find it now? No, I can't. I don't have time. <laughs> well, what do you mean you don't have time? I have enough work to do You're after the here. show trying to find yeah. audio of what I just did because I did, wasn't recording the audio of it. So, I, All right. I have enough problems, Phil, without having to go look at vi for video of you saying it. And I c it wouldn't take that long because you said it dozens of times. All right. <laughs>
<laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. Yeah? Okay, I'll find it, Phil. Yeah, you, you better make a PSA out of it. A PSA out of it? Yeah. Why? You know, like uh, your uh, announcements, your uh, commercials. Those aren't PSAs. Well, they uh, are because they're it, not making if, me any it, money. It would but. be if it was my voice. It's PSI? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm honestly, I don't know why, if they have overwhelming evidence of Trump's innocence, like Giuliani claims, I don't know why you guys wouldn't be rooting for a trial. It would be a perfect opportunity to humiliate the Democratic Party. <laughs> yeah. in the and they they were been, until they took a vote. <laughs> they, they have been humiliated time and time again. And the, let them have their trial. It, they're going to be humiliated again. <laughs> yeah, I keep believing that. Yeah. Remember, now, Remember Mueller? Morning, oh, the Mueller said, report. They're going to be humiliated again when we again. rub his face in that later. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I support my people. You do? Yeah. Who's your people? Even when they admit to crimes. Yeah, you support them. Even he when didn't admit, admit to, to anything. Bullshit! He committed to all kinds of crimes. No, you're saying it's a crime. I and say I'm what he did the, was a good thing. The federal <laughs> statutes say it's a crime to ask any foreign <laughs> government to in, interfere with or to, to, uh, to investigate your political opponents. Oh, you federal got dirt on Hillary, Russia? Let's have yeah. a meeting. Yes. You know, if you give them, anything. we're, we're going to, well, they'll get to the bottom of it. And the IG, uh, uh, who is working with the Senate, uh, when they start, pro uh, uh, you know, arresting guys like, uh, what's his name? Not Nadler. Yeah, Nadler and. They're going to arrest Nadler for what? Well, because he, uh, he uh, made statements that he had proof that uh, Trump colluded and uh, did a whole bunch Trump of other has stuff. Lied thirteen thousand times. It doesn't lying matter. Is that a what about is him? It doesn't matter. That's another what that's about him. I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, well, that's well because he did this. He Phil, what, Phil, you, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, prose you can't prosecute. We can't prosecute a federal official for making a statement about another oh, public yeah. official. Okay. And and and, and uh, 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 your your boy Trump has it all wrong when he says, "Oh, I'm going to impeach uh, so and so in the Senate." And you can't Trump impeach too. senators. You can't impeach senators. It's not uh, written. We'll in see. You can't. Don't you? You know there's they got no, a well, there's Senate, no they got a bunch of guys with guns. Well, the there firing there squad. is you, no what, your wall around Colorado. Uh, there, there <laughs> is no provision. Only the House can institute impeachment hearings. The Senate has no authority to impeach shit. Yeah, but on the other well, hand, in 2020, when P when Trump is not, he may get, you know, they can impeach him over a parking ticket, but the Senate won't convict him. And in 2020, when he's reelected, yeah, and, and the House turns him. Republican because they get rid of those do nothings, uh, you know, then they you can start going there's after there's 900 guys. bills sitting on McConnell's desk. Don't talk about Democrats as do nothing. Well, you know, he's a little overextended. Maybe he can put it on MasterCard. Let me put it this way, Phil. What's going to happen here, okay, is that Trump is safe as long as his approval rating with Republicans is over 50%. In other words, over 50% say we don't want impeachment of Donald Trump. Now, hold, let me finish before you open your big fat mouth, okay? Let me finish. Um, now I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, Trump is safe as long as the Republican is over As, as long as his, his, the, the uh, ratings, uh, the approval ratings of 55% of, uh, hold in the mm. Republican Party, the 55% say he should not be impeached. 44% say he should be, or they should go ahead with the impeachment hearings. If that goes below 50%, you're going to start seeing so many Republican senators running for the exits that you won't be able to believe it, Phil, because the only loyalty they have to Trump is that he holds that 55%. Yep. Even two Democrats today voted not to continue with the hearing. Well, because they didn't believe in it. That's fine. Okay. It's fine. You know, yeah. they weren't breaking with party line. Well, they one Democrat believe. and one hey, who was a Republican a lot, that the, went independent. There are a lot of Democrats who don't believe 
uh, who for a long time did not believe in impeachment, and I think there are some who still hold on to that. I think there's some who voted yesterday to go ahead with this to allow the process to happen. Okay? Well, the process doesn't mean that he's going to be impeached. Just because there's an investigation, Phil, you, Phil, you claim guilt through accusation. Phil, of course, there's no. guilt through accusation, and the accusation, uh, oh, that, what, what, what else is an indictment but an accusation, Phil? Yeah. But in being indicted Phil, is not being. Phil, uh, what more is an indictment? That, they're either going to impeach him or they're not. What more is an indictment than an accusation that you did something? Well, because an indictment is usually based on fact. Well, this is based so on it fact. Impeachment. Maybe you don't think it's based on no, fact. No, because you can impeach a guy because he wears yellow socks. And you can in, you can indict a yellow pages. That's and that's exactly what they're trying to do. And then you can also lose your entire party's election. So I guess, you know, and you got to look at that's what the Democrats so. are going to do. But I don't think it's going to happen that way. Yellow pages. What would Aren't you, you guys afraid? Say, well, I'm not going to have a trial. Aren't you guys afraid? You, that you know the Democratic Party is going to be ripped apart and destroyed after this election. No, no aren't you afraid the Republican Party is going to be? The Republican Party. Is uh, okay, I think well we're at an impasse enough, here. There's enough Americans who still have pride and traditions and everything Phil, of our country Phil, and what we stand Phil, for. Let me let me let me get a get a quote from you. Are you saying he will not be impeached? I don't think he'll be impeached. No, That's you don't. Correct. You don't say he will you be impeached. Definitely. You, you've been more adamant. Think. You've been more adamant about that every other time we've brought it up than you have been well, just I, now. I gave it some thought before I said I don't think he's going to be impeached. Okay. What you uh, gave something thought here. before you said something? Uh, every, everybody <laughs> at, at, remember this, this shit show at, is not an impeachment. At, at, at eleven uh, seventeen today. <laughs> He said that. Okay, so I can go back and get it. That when and the impeachment Halloween. takes place, I can go back and. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Patrick. How are you this evening? Hello, <laughs> Jeff. How are you this evening? Hello, I'm Tony. Great. How are you this evening? I'm okay. Voting to impeach. Handed <laughs> out candy. Uh, how are you doing, Patrick? Just Fine. peachy. Just peachy. Yeah, no complaint. Yeah. No, he's in peachy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Jason. So I, I have to ask because I live in the house. Who all handed out candy this year, and did you have a good turnout or no? I had. I we, okay. we had one family. Zero. We had one family that came by, and we gave you candy. Wow. Yeah, uh, it's like rainy and windy and crappy here. Yeah. Cold. Yeah, that we never stopped me. Well, I live it, on was, a it was like rainy an and long. windy. <laughs> it was rainy and windy and crappy here. But we live in an apartment house, so you would think they would stay in the apartment house and go get the candy from everybody else. They never get to the eighth floor. Every year, Marjorie goes out, buys candy, and it sits there and rots for a year. Yes, we Patrick. Probably, we probably had like twelve people. Patrick, oh, I got a lot of kids. We we had global warming happening here. Um, I woke up to stick into the snow. Um, so there was no trick or treat here. Most of the areas canceled and are rescheduling for this coming weekend. Uh, so, yeah, it, it was about 31 degrees and sticked into the snow this morning. So wow. there wasn't shit happening. Wow. Um, and we had 50 mile an hour winds, which is like unheard yeah. of this time of year. Yeah. Well, I saw, I was walking down the street. Everybody, everywhere I went, I went to the chiropractors today, which I think it's going to be the last time because I just, you know, it, it I think it's money I'm pissing down the fucking thing. It's like a donation to his retirement. Probably. Yeah, exactly. He's a nice he guy and all of that. But, you know, this idea that, well, you got to come back more because if we wait, you, if we don't do it twice a week, it, it's going to go back to the way it was. Yeah. And, it, you know, I don't get that from my normal doctor. He says, here, take these pills and you get rid of the infection. Anyway. Uh, 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 hey, the pills haven't been helping your back, though, have you? Because you finally broke down and went oh, to a chiropractor. Oh, actually, the pills, these pills, the uh, um, uh, cyanide, the, li li <laughs> the Lyrica, the Lyrica, 
has been doing okay. I mean, yeah, right. By the way, I think you interesting. Get a teeter hang ups and hang upside down it, and do it, some sit ups. Interesting, just side story. You know, once every three months, I pick up all my drugs because we do the three month thing because it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. And I'm paying less for three months than I did for one month in the old days going to my local yeah. pharmacy. <clears throat> and the most expensive drug that I had was the Cialis or Tadafil, is a wow. generic term. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it was 125 a month as a copay. All right. Today I go in. Five it's, milligram. It, yeah, I went in today. It dropped down to 50 bucks. Ooh, I, I, nice. I saved 75 bucks. Now I don't know if that maybe my uh, out of pocket was over with or something like that. But Marjorie says hers hasn't gone down, and she has more drugs than I do, more expensive ones. So, I, 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 it went down fifty bucks. It's seventy five bucks. So, I are you buying that from uh, Costco? No, no, I'm buying it from uh, uh, from Walgreens uh, yeah. Community. It's called. It's just nothing but a pharmacy, and uh, my plan uh, says I have to go buy at Walgreens because Walgreens can is the one that is uh, empowered to do this whole thing for what's the company express Scripts. that's a drug company your farm your the pharmacy your drug company owns well no 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 I'll express scripts is the company and uh, they don't own walgreens now there, there's a pharmacy in canada that uh my ex told me about uh it, it's I, I can't remember the name but it's uh the price of those drugs, I'll get it for you and text it to you, but uh, I looked at uh, some diabetes stuff, and it was like 20% of the price. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, you can, it's, you can, you well, know, they, but, you well, give them your prescription. I'll, I'll tell you, the same thing's true, the same thing's true of Express Grips. I mean, I'm paying for one month incredibly less than I was for three months incredibly less than I was paying for one month before I can't remember the name of this pharmacy but uh, when I do I'll text it to you well best you should, thing to do you can is, go online and you can look up the drug and they'll tell you what their price is best thing is to go is with express marijuana scripts, no. express scripts and go with their plan where you buy three months at a time it's going to be a lot cheaper Phil Right. How much is betting on that website? Send that book. <laughs> yeah. Send me that book. How, uh, you can only what, get the what's Chinese the stuff. of Percocets running nowadays? I, I'm paying five dollars a pill on the street, so if you can only get the Chinese stuff, yeah. and uh, you got to get it through the guy okay. coming over with a backpack from Mexico. So anyway, yeah. Je Jeff, say something so we know you're alive. I'm alive. I'm oh, talking. Uh, oh, okay. I just want to make sure. You know, Tony, no. say something so I can make sure you're alive. Happy Halloween. I still got a little candy left. Oh, did man, you, the weather is Did terrible. you make bags for the kids next door so they didn't come over here? How many kids came to your door I, tonight? I had a lot of kids. I bought a lot of candy. Because you're in a neighborhood. I, yeah. Well, no, we don't have to see the candy. Yeah. Oh, well, if you know, he shares. Well, I'll show you hey, Tony. These little kids next door. So my mother bars. says, let's make the kids bags because we watch the kids sometimes. So they went to a kitty party. So. When they come back, we gave them like chocolate. We made them bags. You up. take the razor blades like, sure out of the apple. Make sure you give them the same amount. Yeah. Well, you see, the thing Tony, because if the little one gets more than the other one, Tony, you know, do you take so, the yeah. razor blades out of the apple? Oh, and my mother, you don't give them away. No, my mother used to throw the candy out when we went trick or treating. When we came home, we were right in the garbage can because they were sticking razor That's blades. What she, she told, told you, but she really ate it. No, she threw them out. <laughs> She, we actually we handed out the full garbage. size candy bars this year. Yeah, she, yeah. So you're you're the you're the one promoting diabetes in Detroit. Yeah, my house is like the sugar house this, on this block. Well, you know what, Marjorie, when she went to buy candy, figured you know it would be a good thing if she bought sugar free candy. I think parents <laughs> parents would oh, probably yeah. like that a lot. You know, you cannot buy Halloween candy that's sugar free. You know, you all the stuff that would take it. Well, no, they wouldn't candy. know. They wouldn't know the, They wouldn't know the difference. I got to tell you. They get hardened arteries I and knew. die. Huh? Yeah, I had a hard time finding the candy corn for my mother. I was going nuts looking for it. You give them Hall's mentholipsis. I had to go to CVS <laughs> for it. Yeah, but, uh, but, and then they sell you these giant bags of it, expecting that everything. I got a little one for like six bucks. Yeah, you, you know, I mean, it's it's just. Um, it, you probably can buy enough so that you don't, you know. You freeze it? You, no, you, you freeze it and use it next year, yeah. 
I <laughs> think the next year if it was in my freezer. Yeah, no, because I mean, we have two we, of these. We, we've got, you know, we these kids came over and we just piled their thing full of candy because we knew that we weren't going to get many people coming up. So you and got then, one family, then, right? Then Marjorie I said, oh, I hope we don't have anybody else coming up because we've just gave it, given them all the candy we have. And I said, don't worry about it. And we sat here and sat here and sat. Well, we were watching something, but we we waited and waited and waited. And uh, yeah, but adults come by, Alex, looking for candy. The old, old, older kids, huh? they you know what you do? Awesome. I just gave the I gave them M and M's because I, at seven thirty, eight o'clock, I was getting close to the end. So whoever was coming at the end, I was giving them three or four. Of stuff just because I'm going upstairs after this. I said, I'm running Three up. Or four, My like, oh, like, you wait you till the kids go down to the I'm corner. I'm not going to see town to get another bag of candy. I remember one, 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 you wait till the kids get to the corner and then you say, Give me the bag, kid. And then you run off. You know, no, they you I got three big bags from Costco, the big ones. I kept some for myself, though. I bought a little pouch. <laughs> I got it over here. I got like the Hershey bar when I'm watching the football game before I had my. So let me get a Hershey. I was watching the 49ers. <laughs> Next time we see Tony, he's going to look like Phil. I'm going to have to go to the gym. I <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm pretty good. I'll just monitor myself with it. But the chocolate is my vice. I love Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. You should give some to Alex. He gave it all his candy away. He likes the candy, though. You, you like the candy. You kept some candy, Alex, I bet. I don't eat candy. You don't eat no candy? I eat sugar-free, yeah. Oh, I can see Phil chomping down the Hershey, so. <laughs> I can't have it in the house. Good stuff. I can't oh, have it He's a house. diabetic. Oh, it'll spike right up then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're off the bend. So, uh, you know, uh, but anyway, um, mm. where Kids was I? Candy. Um, no, uh, uh, years ago, I... Uh, uh, it was Halloween, and I didn't have any candy or anything. So he said, what am I going to do? And, uh, you know, it's trick or treat. You don't necessarily have to give candy. Let them eat cake. And I, in those, in those quarters. days, I used to get tons of records, you know, from the record companies. They would send me every release that they had. It and not for and, sale. Right? And, and when they were the ones I didn't want to keep or doubles or whatever, I put them by the door. Okay, and I finally had a pile like this of these things. And so when people on Halloween came to the door, I gave them a couple albums, and they were delighted. Hey, I got an look what I got an album, and they left. And about ten minutes later, be a knock on the door. Do you have anything better than this, like candy? <laughs> that would be me. I have this. I need a candy. Yeah. This guy's giving records out, ma. This is a chip. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the cool thing in our neighborhood. Some people give out uh, uh, potato chips and different things like that. You know, it's nice sometimes. Well, I, I just think that, you, get, you know, giving out chocolate is not the best. Uh, candy is not the best idea in the world. You know, I think it's unhealthy. I signed up for, uh, for $25 a month for unlimited... Uh, testing strips to test your uh, glucose, uh, you know, for diabetes. Mm -hmm. So next year, because I have unlimited strips, I can give them out at Halloween. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> test, test, <laughs> hey, use, use this. <laughs> You'll know if you're eating too much of that stuff. <laughs> he comes in, he's all chubby. Huh? I don't even have to give you the strip. We know what this is going to read. <laughs> But anyway, boy, uh, this has been a short <laughs> show tonight <laughs> so far, and but it feels like it's gone on forever. I don't know why. Hey, uh, any word on your storage unit? Oh, it's yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, Damien uh, wrote me tonight. He's going to be back on the air tomorrow night. Everything's fine at the storage unit. So, <laughs> so you know. Um, it's just smoldering? I have, have to still <laughs> keep paying him every month. So, you know. And, wh and well, when you, you see know, your three uh, doctor there? What? When do you see your urologist? Oh, that's on uh, Monday. Yeah. You're 3,000 miles away. You're paying $180 a month. Why would he tell you the place burned down when you're still <laughs> sending a check? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Send been a better. check. Nice of you to ask, Jeff. Uh, yes, it's Monday. It's Monday. Monday, all right. Monday, Monday. Well, no, it's Sunday. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anyway, uh, Good. Phil know. is in control in the stars unit. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, so, um, well, that's about all I got. 
you know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know. Next is the intersection. <laughs> I'm sitting around worrying about that test. On, you know, they're going to see the doctor on Monday, but it'll probably be. Okay. Who fucking Start cares? thinking about something. Everything will be better. Well, I will probably yeah. have prostate cancer. It's just a matter of they what kind. They can't tell that unless they do a biopsy. Even if he feels it and he feels a, you know, some sort of bump well, or something. Well, you're wrong, Phil. They can tell it without a biopsy. Hey, Alex, are you still doing the There is a new test no? called a 4K test. Did they tell you about that? What, they stick the fork up the... No, it's four, it's <laughs> called, oh, I didn't know about it. I don't have a prostate 4K anymore. test, and it, that? it's oh. a new test they have where they can see if it's aggressive or not without doing a biopsy. Alex, oh. are you still doing the bicycle? Uh, not right now because I don't want to do it until after this test. You should do uh, the elliptical. Replace that with a bicycle. I like the elliptical. No, I, you know what I've been doing instead of... And do it backwards. What I've been doing is a lot of walking. That's uh, good for you. Know, I, I, yeah, I, I, I found I was getting a little bored with the cycle. I'll probably go back to it after I... After I after my prostate, uh, I've actually yeah. been watching. Watch a lot of TV. What, what were you saying, John? Uh, I said yeah. I've actually been watching a lot of TV. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. And, and, and you're seeing a lot of foreign countries and things like that, are you? And, yeah. Well, no. The thing yeah. is that I, you know, I just you just get a little, a little tired of, um, you know. We do travel okay. a lot. And we'll actually be gone next week. We are actually going on a trip next week. Where are you going? I'm LSD? going to Washington, D.C. for four or five days. Ah, okay. Did you see uh, the tasteless thing that President Trump did today? In he which does he nothing tasteless. He opened his mouth. Jesus, <laughs> Phil, can I just finish a sentence? You French kissed Phil. <laughs> Forget it. Go tell the story that I was going to tell. I didn't know the story you were going to tell. Well, I just then said why, he does did you, why did you jump in? Because I just made a comment that he doesn't do anything tasteless. He can't help it. You anyway. said it was tasteless. I said, and that's not. Back to running down. You don't Let's always have to be playing your part, Phil. Ah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> we know we Back hired to... you to play a role on this show, but you don't have to play it all the time. Okay. Anyway, uh, he published a picture. One of his tweets was a picture of the 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 dog. That caught what's his name? Uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, Baghdad. Baghdad. Baghdaddy. Who's your Baghdaddy? <laughs> um, uh, and uh, I, I call it a dog. Some people call it a canine, but I call it a dog. I call it a dog. Yeah, that was he did say that. I think some people call it a canine. I call it a dog. It was a beautiful dog. <laughs> anyway, With he, nine lives. He he published a picture of him. Putting the Medal of Honor around the dog's neck. The dog was in the hospital. No, that's another dog. There were two dogs. Um, yeah. Is this and, the one that had the dog cam? Can I finish, Phil? Please. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Allow me to finish. Yeah, sure. Gosh. I'm just trying to tell the story and just let me finish it without interruption here. So he's got this picture of him putting the Medal of Honor around the dog's neck. What they did to get the picture was they took a picture of him giving the Medal of Honor to, I can't remember who, but some guy recently who won the Medal of Honor as a great distinction, and they erased him out of the picture and put the dog in. And somebody and people thought that that was in just terribly bad taste. Yes, Patrick. Who fucking cares? Well, <laughs> and, and furthermore, it was not the Medal of Honor because they did change the actual medal to a dog paw. So, eliminating yeah. it, the guy out of the photo, who cares? If you look at any number of memes that are out there, mm -hmm. they've been bastardized and changed. And now, the only reason this one got any notice at all. It because Trump's in trouble. Usually, the Democrats could give a fuck about the military or the Medal of Honor, and now just because of what's happening. Imagine if it was Obama and they altered a picture. What yeah, that? The Republicans give so much fucks about the military. Say, so imagine if it was Obama and they altered a picture with a Medal of Honor. Well, I would trade it. He would be impeached for that. 
<laughs> they would say the same thing, though. Who cares? They all you get the would. birth certificate. You would, but Phil wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, wow. the dog, big, big fucking deal. And and I would be, I would ever, I I would have. <clears throat> if they didn't change the metal. But the metal would change to a dog paw, so it wasn't even really even a uh, uh, a medal of honor. It's just, you yeah. know, and big fucking deal. I, there's other things to worry about than that. Uh, Why is it not a medal of honor? Are you a speciesist? <laughs> <laughs> just because it's a dog can't get a medal of honor? Jeez. <laughs> You know, Due to global warming. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, like I said, <laughs> I, and I saw who was going apoplectic over it, and I thought normally you guys don't give a shit about the Medal of Honor anyway. So well, what, 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 makes you, what, what makes you say that? What do you mean, you That's guys? Just Republican propaganda. Do you think the Democrats don't care about a person who uh, does an act it's of terrorism? It's not personal. It's a dog. Yes. Now, I base it on what I've seen with people posting, and I know I I have my own little bubble of friends on Facebook. But like this last Medal of Honor that was given yesterday to a uh, master sergeant mm -hmm. from 2008, uh, I was the only one out of the friends that I was able to see that posted about it, and I've got about. Five friends that are on the right, and everybody is on the left. And I got about six likes on the the, the story, mm -hmm. and that just tells me that people look at shit like that and they go, "Oh, it's the military, just fuck it." And I'm like, you know, this guy could have been a Democrat, the, the uh, master sergeant, and it doesn't matter, you know. It, it so I, I think like that and the same with, with uh, Al Baghdadi his death I posted good job special operator I had nothing about Trump I had nothing about anyone else and there were maybe two or three other people that I knew of mm -hmm. that posted about getting rid of that cowardly fucking terrorist and yes he was a coward and he died like a bitch and a dog and all that <laughs> <laughs> he died like a dog. I mean, how did he die like a dog? I don't understand that. Exactly. Whining and crying. Wait a minute. Whining and crying. Wait, and then they, he what, pulled a where, cord where, and where, killed where, himself. Where, yeah. Wait a like minute. A Hold dog. on a second. The, the only thing that I hold against him is that he pulled the the uh, uh, cord on the Rip. on the uh, suicide vest with his two kids there. That. Yeah. That, no, that his kids was. pulled the own cords too. Did they? That's I, that's what I heard, but the point is that I I thought that that was wrong, that was bad, okay. But so far as committing suicide with a suicide vest, I don't know if that exactly. I'm going to go back to Bill Maher and his statement about the guys who flew the planes into the World Trade Center. He said, you know, his whole thing was somebody called them cowards, and he said they they may be a lot of things. They may be horrible human beings. But you can't call somebody who flies a plane into a building and takes his own life a coward. You know? I think and wait a minute, let me finish, Phil. I'm cowards. not finished, Phil. I'm not finished. The fact is, the, the fact that this guy blew up uh, himself with a suicide vest doesn't exactly make him a coward. He's still an asshole. He was still a terrible human <laughs> yeah. being. He was still a worthless human being whose life I'm not mourning in the least. But the fact is, I don't know if I could call him a coward. Yes, you can, because he ref he wasn't facing uh, his adversaries. That, who were that's the bravest thing him. you can do is take your own life. Uh, I don't think taking your own life is brave at all. I think it is a cowardly act. Nah, oh, what about no. the, the soldier that jumps on the grenade saving his whole right? platoon? That's not suicide. That's a hero. Yeah. That's suicide. No, it's it, not. It's, it, but but he's Phil, saving, you got to you got to remember, Phil. One's person one person's terrorist is another person's freedom fighter. You know, that's, that's the, right. Yeah, you believe that. No, that is true, Phil. It's the truth. I might not agree with the person and what they're doing, but what they're doing is taking their own life. You know, that that's not, that's, that's not a cowardice thing. I might not agree with it, but... 
he was going to be captured. And rather than be captured, he blew himself so up. He was yeah. going to be and, captured. And That's not a he cowardly was be captured act. when he decided to take a plane and crash it into a building. He wasn't going to be captured then. He was going to be some rich little. Oh, those guys are crazy. Uh, well, I don't, yeah, I don't know that he's going to be captured, and I don't know that it matters for the semantics the of this dog argument. dog was on his way down there. But I, I don't know that he was going to be captured. I mean, I, I think, I guess my point of the whole thing about them talking about how he died and all that, and I know Patrick is going to agree with this. When a special op team of SEALs goes in like that and you're on the kill list, they're not looking to take you alive. You're on the kill <laughs> list. They're looking to put a bullet in your head, not in your chest, because they think you're wearing a suicide best they don't have time to let you beg for your life or anything they're not taking any chances you enter the room there's a male enemy combatant he's getting a bullet it's it's simple as that i mean that you know they're uh, it, you're on the kill list so and, it, and to be quite honest i have no problem with that they i went mean, there to kill him yeah yeah i i know so like i said i don't even know if the point matters for what you guys were discussing but I don't think they go into the building looking to take all. All he managed back to do. All, with, all he managed okay, to do was was deprive them of the satisfaction of taking him alive, okay, yeah. or or killing, or killing him themselves. Right. No, uh, I agree and, with that. And yeah. the fact that he deprived him of that does not make him a coward. You know. Now his children would not have been uh, held responsible for his actions. So why kill them? I don't know that that's true. Yeah. Would, would it be more filled? They, they you were say? young children, weren't they? They weren't like Hussein and I'm, Hussein. I'm pretty sure, yeah. But well, I, I, I don't know that, that, that the special operations team would be looking to take them out. You know, I mean, he, he did that, you know, on his own, which is which is, which is sickening. You know, that's what I'm saying. I mean, I've, I've read quite a lot about this. I mean, not just watch the Hollywood glorified movies. But, I mean, I just know that per training, they go into a room and any male of an adult age jumps out from behind anything, you know, it's, they're, they're going down. I mean, they're not, they're not going to try to take people alive. And there certainly wouldn't have been time to, you know, listen to him beg for his life and please don't kill me. And no, I'm sorry. If you have a shot, you, t you, you, this is not, the, this is not the police. There's not going to be any trial, <laughs> you know, this is a pre-authorized, kill and that that's the that's and the I, end of the story. and i think and, you know, I like th i said i'm yeah. i'm a bit of a defense hawk despite my my liberalism yeah, well i i think I that no his i that. think that his decision uh, to use the suicide vest and to kill himself was a decision that he probably made well in advance of that uh incident mm -hmm. yeah. you know that he decided if he was ever cornered he was going to pull the, the the switch on himself because right. he didn't want to, A, be caught. He didn't want to have happen to him what happened to um, um, uh, Saddam Hussein. Saddam, no, not Saddam Hussein. Uh, uh, they hung him, God. right? Hmm? No. They hung him. No, we're not talking about Saddam Hussein. I know, Phil. Yeah, but Bin Laden was bin killed Laden, in a raid. He was killed in a raid. He didn't. I and don't he think was he, buried at sea. I don't think he wanted that to happen, although they have buried uh, Baghdadi at sea, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and and that's the other part of the in the same in the same vein, mm -hmm. you know, a special operations team, a SEAL team, or whatever that goes in, they're not going to take even 15 seconds of satisfaction to let you beg for your life, you know. And the reason why is because, you know, by the point by this point in the raid, there are a lot of people that are aware that you're there and what you're there for. There are more fucking bad guys coming. I mean, we need to do the fucking job, and then we need to get the yeah. fuck out of here. Because two we have the numbers right now, but there are more fucking bad guys on the way, and we need to do what we came here to do, and then we're fucking getting out of here the, before they the show up. The SEAL teams were there for over two hours collecting intel uh, from the uh, from. Well, the I mean, if 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 they secured the site, and I'm you know obviously we're positive, you know that they had drone coverage and all that. I mean, if they if they had the time, sure, that's fine. But you know, like in the Bin Laden raid, for example. There, yeah. it was in a pretty heavily populated area, and there's yep. no doubt there's more fucking bad guys on the way. As much as we'd like to all stick around and cut off Bin Laden's fingers before we put a bullet in his head, we don't have any fucking time for that. <laughs> I mean, there's just there's fucking people on the way, and when we lose our numbers advantage, you know that raid would not be thought of as well as it is currently. Well, let me let me ask we'd you. We brought Bin Laden yeah. back with six or seven dead seals. Let me ask you this question: What is the uh, what is the a sense of of capturing the guy alive. Intel. Yeah. Intel. 
Uh, or yeah, didn't Intel. the blind sheik give up a whole bunch of intel when they uh, got him? And uh, all lies, uh, all lies. Yeah, yeah, all lies. Uh, they found his te his stuff totally unreliable. But that was the thing that they were talking about during World War II that you got more intel off your captured uh, prisoners if you played chess with but them here, than if here's you tortured the thing. them. If you take a person like Bin Laden and you capture him alive, what do you do with him? You know, I mean, you it's it's it, you're you're better off to kill him and not yeah. have to deal with the aftermath. You get what I'm saying? You know, especially if he's a CIA yeah, yeah. spy. Uh, P uh, Patrick, yeah, probably not like that. The head, they're not going to give anything up. You 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 may get intel from lower rank people, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah, it, you're right. Just eliminate them and be done with it. What do you Not if they think they might live, they might give you give you up stuff if you they think that they might live and might get away well, with something. Well, you know what he hey. what he was supposedly doing in that region because he doesn't normally go to that region, but he went there because he was going around to tell everybody that he was getting out of the business. You know that he was turning the reins of power over to other people. They killed that guy too, the second in command. No, they didn't. Yeah, there's a yeah, new there guy another... who today was made the uh, the head of uh, no, I know that guy, ISIS. but he must have been the third. It was the second in command was in the same uh, air, uh, thing and got killed in a separate raid at the same time. The, the, the second in command does not necessarily become the leader. You know why, Phil? Uh, what do you have to be in order to be a leader of ISIS? A sick motherfucker. No. <laughs> That's what. That's the answer you give because you don't know it. Why don't you say? Why don't you say I don't know, Alex? Why don't you say I don't know, Alex? Tell me. I never ran for that position, and you know, wouldn't you rather have that than dead air? I'd rather have dead air. Anyway, the reason is Phil that uh, now I forgot what I was coming up with here. The reason oh, oh, that yeah, oh, you know, yeah. uh, the, the second command. In order to be the leader of ISIS, you have to be a descendant of Muhammad. Oh, wow. And this latest guy, they looked at his name and everything, and he is now, he is a descendant of Muhammad as well. The guy who you said was second in command may not have been a descendant of Muhammad. Was Abraham a relative of, uh, of Muhammad? No. No? Okay, so we're out. We can't be leaders of ISIS? <laughs> you no. can't. It's like no, you're gangster. No, you can't be a mafia. Uh, that's your 100%. I, uh, 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 Abraham. What do you mean Abraham, can't be leaders of it? Who do you think really has been? It's Abraham, been the Jewish elite. Abraham went to, to Mecca and built the Kaaba, which is that big black yeah. cube. He and his son built that. I thought but, Halliburton just redid it. And the, 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 <laughs> the, uh, the origins of the Islamic religion is, in fact, with Abraham. And uh, and his uh, son, who was uh, uh, um, Strauss. Jesus, no. No, I... come on! No, you know you throw <laughs> me off, and then I can't think. Well, he was said his son. Just shut up for a minute. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna hang up. Okay. Anyway. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the son. The son was Ishmael. Ishmael was the son. And Ishmael was, ba was he and his mother were b banished uh, because uh, Abraham's mother was jealous of them. And they were banished, and they went to Mecca. And when they were in Mecca, uh, they, uh, Abraham joined them, and they built the Kaaba. So that's the... Uh, in Melville's Mobile Dick, wasn't the guy character Ishmael? I think it yes, was, right? Yes, he Call was. me Ishmael. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so you know, I was going to ask you something too. Do you think they have a mental illness to want to kill themselves? There's got to be some kind of mental disorder to no, want to take no, your it's, life. No, it's 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 um, it's foolish uh, adulation to a to a cause. You know, I mean, uh, just to get to that point to want to take your life, like you know, what kind of frame of mind? Cultism. Is yeah. We have the same thing going you, you on know, here every you know single day. I, cultism. What I, what I found there's got to be a mental disorder. There. What I found yeah. incredibly disgusting is over the years how they've used these people who really have nothing to live for uh, as suicide bombs you know uh, uh, and they, none of them go out and scrap a bomb to themselves and go out and and do the same thing no they go and 
seduce somebody into doing it. Uh, yeah, Patrick first, and then uh, yeah, yes. Um, and, and that's the reason that I call him a coward. Is mm. taking his own kids out with him. Uh, I find that abominable. Yeah, I'll call him a a wussy motherfucker, but he's just taking himself out, and he's going to he being a martyr for whatever he believes in. Mm -hmm. But take your kids out; it's no different than somebody taking a hostage in a bank robbery. Mm -hmm. you know, you you just you're pushing, you're using somebody else as a human shield. Or, you know, you're going to take them with you because whatever reason. So right. That's why I call them. Yeah, that, that is, uh, I think, absolutely wrong, you know. And, and uh, uh, you know, I, you can call him anything you want to. I think he's a disgusting human being just for what he did many years ago. ISIS was literally throwing people off of buildings because they were gay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's disgusting, and it's all in the name of religion. This is why I'm not religious, because religion just does horrible things. Yeah. You know, uh, and and uh, uh, I I I just think that our biggest problem in this world is religion, is organized religion, uh, and it's the it's it's the reason we have. I mean, why why do people do the things that uh, that ISIS does? It's all in the name of religion. Yeah. It's a crazy thing. Yeah, if you Why does Israel it, do what they do? It's all in the name of religion. You know? They don't realize when they close their eyes, we're all going to the same place if it exists, I would imagine. I mean, it's so crazy thinking that you're going to go someplace different. Because all bodies are all the same. It's like they can't rationally think that. Like, well, listen, well the, ins all, the, ins the insanity that I just can't make any sense out of is the hatred between the Jews and the Islamics when they share the same root religion. They are and both monos they are Jews, both what do you think Islam's Christians? Christians. It's a different opinion. They are both monotheistic religions, you know. They both believe in you know they, they've got treif and we've got kosher. It's pretty much it's, the same thing, same. you yeah. know. Uh, and and it's kind of like two two women who show up at a party wearing the same dress, you know, and they just hate each other because they're so similar. Yes, it's, Jason. Uh, it's kind of so wild. is Christianity even monotheistic? It, it is monotheistic, yeah. Is it because well, you it, in God some, the Father, some, some God people, the Son, and it, God it, the Holy well, Spirit? Well, that is the place where people feel maybe it isn't monotheistic because it is God, the Mother, the Son, the Holy Ghost. And it, okay. takes, it just takes Pretty so much from other religions God. that they've gone and conquered. Yeah, yeah. So I'm in, uh, but uh, Jesus is Thor, or you know, other religions is uh, another character, you know, and that's there's yeah. two different gods, three different gods. It's yeah, uh, it, 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 but it, it's just insane, and it's insane the war that we're if the, if we are going to see the end of civilization as we know it, it's because of all these religions fighting with each other, you know, and and I find that horrible, just horrible. Phil, do you have anything you want to add? Yeah, he's crying. Don't tell me he's going to be a, he's going to, no. he's going to convert now. Huh? What? Who? Phil, he's going to convert to ISIS. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, well, yeah, well, we Don't could tell me he's coming to the Catholic. Charlie has his hand up. But, well, yes, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I was raised Catholic, and we were always taught that there is one God. There are three people in one God, but it's just one God. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, 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 Jason. So, Charlie, I want to ask you this because I got in a, I, I shouldn't have even brought it up with my job because it was at work. I was doing a job for uh, a black customer and they were extremely religious, but I ended up bringing up the only reason why you are a Christian is because your ancestors were slaves to white people and you are still worshiping your white master's God. I, I just like, was that very offensive? Like, like, how how do you feel about it? Well, yeah, like, that, that's, what, that that, that's what got me to atheism. I'm Mexican. Why are my gods not real? 
you're going to need a future in floor covering sales. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it was just, you know, it just, just be able to say, you know, your ancestors were enslaved by certain people, and that's why you're Christians. That's the only reason why you're Christians is because you were enslaved by white people. And now they you're... wouldn't see it that way. They yeah. would see it as there, there's, this is the one true God, and just because some white person exposed my ancestors to it doesn't make them any less the one true God. Well, you know what I don't understand, and, and this is the hypocrisy of it all. I can't understand why the Christians in this country have embraced Donald Trump, when in fact Me? this is one of the most unchristian people that I've yeah. ever seen in my life. I mean, I don't know he believes in anything, really. Probably. How many baby mamas does he have? Uh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Well, to begin yeah, with, he's got, holy he's got three mama. baby mamas. There's three of them. Yeah. Well, you know why, Alex? Maybe because, remember, he was saying we're going to bring know. Christmas back. He, he preaches what they want to hear, those Bible people. Yeah, but, but, but he isn't doing what he preaches. No, I mean, he's going he's he's, to grab no, them by the not. pussy, and he's going to marry three women and have children by all <laughs> yeah. three of them. It's, you know, He's probably paid for a dozen abortions. <laughs> was pro life. Yeah, so I mean, how I Christian? You're, you're, you're estimating low. How, I how, still can't believe. It. How could a Christian possibly uh, uh, go along with that? You know, I just don't it's understand a, it. And they vote for him. Like um, it's, he's everything they oppose. Because you know, when I hear about yeah. Christianity and what Christianity believes and the teachings of Christ, I go, "Hey, this is pretty good stuff." You know, love thy neighbor and all that yeah. other it's stuff. Prayer, yeah. And and I guess maybe Trump just took it too seriously. Yes, and you Patrick. cannot bear false witnesses, and he lies all the time. Uh, yeah, that's his whole cabinet. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, Patrick. I come with my wife. He did that. Yeah. He checked the yeah. And other people's wives. Yeah. What were you going to say quickly, Patrick, because we're running out of time? Christians are very forgiving, and they love thy neighbor, even if it is Donald Trump. I see. Okay. But love thy neighbor's wife. I don't know. As, as, yeah. a, as a Christian, I don't think I could abide by, by Trump, but yet they vote for him, and they invite him to their, their big, you know, Christian daily bops, whatever those things are they hold. Uh, that, that was the best term I could come up with right now. Uh, but uh, anyway, I don't know. Oh, well, uh, let me see here. Let me start rolling the theme. I may as well. Cause well, it's Katie Hill didn't do anything different than Melania Trump did. Uh, who who didn't do anything different? Congresswoman Hill from California. Oh, I, 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 I don't think she should have quit. I just don't think she should have quit. I, I don't think that was enough to quit mm -hmm. on, you know. Plus, she was set up by her ex-husband, who was yeah. trying to trying to get at her. So she shouldn't have quit, just like I don't think uh, a lot of people shouldn't have quit, Yeah. you know. Uh, hey, listen, that's it uh, for tonight. Uh, uh, short show because we had problems uh, earlier, and mm -hmm. uh, I hate problems. So. You know, that's the way it goes. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate you calling tonight. It's always good to see you. Josh, great to see you. Phil, always fine to see you. Uh, 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 thank you for shutting up for the last couple of minutes. Uh, uh, Jeff, thank you. Uh, thanks to Tony, to Charlie, to Patrick. Did I leave anybody else? Jeff, did I say Jeff? Yeah. yeah? I got everybody. I got everybody. Why doesn't everybody... Like, give a big wave goodbye, okay? All right? Goodbye, everybody. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, we got on a little late tonight, but it uh, turned out to be a rather... What was it? It was a show of some sort. <laughs> no, it was a good one. It had a lot of things going for it. Anyway, I'm uh, running out of uh, time here. Uh, let me just say that I will be back again tomorrow night after the exchange because tomorrow night Damian Chapman will be doing it at 9.30 Eastern Time. And then at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, I'll be back with more of the same here at GabNet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, here at GabNet, I will be here with more of the same. That's 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.